Now, I've always said arbitrage betting is the equivalent of camping out for Black Friday. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to talk about everybody's favorite subject because I check the trends. I check all the sports betting related trends and see what the most popular keywords are in sports betting. And that always seems to be by far and away arbitrage betting. Now, one of the main problems I have with arbitrage betting videos on YouTube that I see on a lot of other sports betting related channels is that a lot of people put out these videos about arbitrage betting and make it seem like it's an easy, sure thing that you can just easily do and make money. A lot of these videos have titles like, do this to guarantee income betting on sports and everything like that. Now, this isn't going to be another video where I rehash my opinions on the ethics or what I personally think about arbitrage betting. You can watch my past videos about that. This is going to be geared more towards people who try to make arbitrage betting their sole strategy or their primary strategy when it comes to betting on sports. Like that is what they are aiming for. Now, it's one thing to be a normal sports better who bets normally and you see an ARB opportunity pop up every now and then and you take advantage of it. That's one thing. I don't really, there's nothing wrong with that because that's not what you're aiming to do. It's not your main strategy. It's just, it's just kind of like a bonus almost. Hey, I have an ARB opportunity. I'll go ahead and take it and you'll get like maybe one opportunity per month. I'm talking about the people who are seeking out ARB opportunities as their primary goal. Now, I've always said arbitrage betting is the equivalent of camping out for Black Friday. That is pretty much what making arbitrage betting your primary strategy is. Now, 15 years ago when the PS3 came out, a friend of mine and I camped out in front of a circuit city for three days in the cold and had to sleep on the concrete in tents uncomfortable, three miserable days to get the PS3. Not because we wanted it, but we wanted to sell it for a profit because we had seen the previous year what had happened with the Xbox 360 and how they're going up for two to three times their MSRP on eBay, and we were trying to do the same. And so after those three days, we did get a PS3. We did sell it on eBay, but we only sold it for about a thousand bucks, which was after taxes and everything, only about $330 worth of profit. So basically, it was $110 per day to camp out. And a lot of people would be like, would you camp out in front of a circuit city in the freezing cold and have to sleep on concrete for three nights for $110 a day? Most people would probably say no. It definitely was not worth it. And that's really what nobody asks when it comes to arbitrage betting. What you need to ask yourself is, how much is my time worth? Because whether it be camping for a PS3 or camping out for Black Friday, how much is your time worth and how much money do you need to make in order for it to be worth the effort and the time you have to spend to grind out those profits? Because if you're going to successfully arbitrage bet your way to any meaningful kind of profit, it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to take a lot of effort, and it's going to take a lot of risk. That's another thing these YouTubers that hype up arbitrage betting as some kind of golden ticket don't really say. They don't really talk about the risks involved. Let's just tell the truth about arbitrage betting. You need to take the time to put your money down at a lot of different books. You got to have a high enough balance at all those different books. And you have to maintain all that. And then you have to find the arbitrage opportunities. That's going to take time as well. And so that's really the issue. And then you have to talk about the risk involved. When I say risk, you can get banned. You can have an offshore book shut down and take all your money. There's risk involved. But being banned is the biggest one. What if you have all your money in an arbitrage opportunity in one book that bans you? Will they give it back to you? Can you get it out? Is the risk worth the reward of the meager profits you're going to grind out doing arbitrage? Because that's another thing about arbitrage betting. The profits are very small. If you bet $1,000 on each side of a line of a plus 105, you're going to make, what, 50 bucks? Is that really worth all the trouble just to make 50 bucks? That's what it really all circles back to and what nobody talks about. How much is your time worth? Because if you're going to get $1,000 on each side of an arbitrage opportunity, you got to have at least $1,000 spread across a lot of books. you got to be looking for these opportunities and lines and being willing to put up the risk of being banned and everything like that. Is it worth the time? For the people who camp out for Black Friday, is it worth camping out for two or three days in the cold to save, what, 500 bucks? My time's worth more than that. 
maybe 15 years ago when I was a college student, maybe the $330 of profit I made off the PS3 might have been worth it to me at the time, but it's not today because I make more money than that in a single day in my day job easily. And so it's not worth it. The value of your time. How much do you value your time? So that's what I ask of all of you people who want to arbitrage bet. How much is your time worth? Nobody seems to ask this question. How much is your time worth? Yeah, you can grind out profits arbitrage betting, but they're going to be small. They're going to take time to find, and you run the risk of being banned. Is it really all worth it in the end? These are usually the most controversial videos I do because there's always people in the comment section be like, I arbitrage bet. I arbitrage bet. You're making fun of people who are fairly winning money. Maybe for these people grinding out 50 bucks is worth it for them, but it's not for me. Like I've always said, I think arbitrage betting is the sports betting equivalent of shooting fish in a barrel, fishing with dynamite, uh, hunting with an AR. And it's also the equivalent from a time perspective of camping out for Black Friday. I just don't think it's worth it. It's not worth the trouble. The profits aren't going to be big enough and there's no sport involved in it. But if you want to go ahead and do it, go ahead. Just be realized that the bill of goods you're being sold by these other YouTubers out there that talk about sports betting and how awesome arbitrage betting is, is and how it's a guaranteed profit and everything. It's not as rosy as they make it to seem. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. And arbitrage betting is no exception. So that's all I have to say about this subject of arbitrage betting. I was able to eat quite a lot of these pizzas. I have two slices left of the pepperoni and two slices left of the Supreme. Uh, we'll see if I can finish it off. But for now, that's all I have to say. Stay tuned next time right here to my channel for more truth about sports betting.